now we're past him. Cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna go down here because I know that this comment changes. It's as comfortable as it looks. I wonder what it'd actually be like to sleep in a coffin. And no, I don't mean eternal sleep, because you couldn't feel it in that case. Just sleep. Hmm. Hey, Asgore. How you been? Curious. I've never seen a plant cry before. Huh? You must be the one that flower just warned me about. Howdy! Yes! That's how you greet, uh... That's how you greet a mass murderer. Then again, actually... Actually, I guess in this case that is appropriate since we're not that a mass murderer. Confusion! Um, what kind of monster are you? A human? Sorry, I cannot tell. Well, we can always... Oh, well then. Now, now. There's no need to fight. Why not settle this? Over a nice cup of tea. I didn't do it! Why? You! Jeez, no mercy. Literally. See, I never betrayed you. It was all a trick, see? I was waiting to kill him for you. After all, it's me, your best friend. I'm helpful. I can be useful to you. I promise I won't get in your way. I can help. I can. I can. Please don't kill me. I didn't do it. I'm not doing that. That's not me. Jeez. No mercy, seriously. Ugh. Oh, hello there. And you are? Greetings. I am Kara. Wait a minute. Thank you. Your power awakened me from death. My human soul. My determination. They were not mine, but yours. At first, I was so confused. Our planet fa our plan had failed, hadn't it? Why was I brought back to life? You. With your guidance. I realized the purpose of my reincarnation. Power. Together, we eradicated the enemy and grew and became strong. No, we did not. No, we didn't. HP, attack, defense, gold, experience, level. Every time a number increases, that feeling, that's me, Kara. And also that weird temptation to flirt with monsters. Don't question it. Now. Now we have reached the absolute. There is nothing left for us here. Let us erase this pointless world and move on to the next. But I don't wanna. No? Hmm. How curious. You must have misunderstood. Since when were you the one in control? <gasps> Jump scare alert! <laughs> no. 
That was not me getting hurt. That was the game getting hurt. And the game just died. It didn't crash. It died. Case in point, when I boot it back up again. This is all you get. So... You left thinking about what you've done. Yeah, see you in ten minutes. Oh, hi there. Interesting. You want to go back. You want to go back to the world you destroyed. It was you who pushed everything to its limit, to its edge. It was you who led the world to its destruction. But you cannot accept it. You think you are above consequences. In this case, since I didn't actually do anything to deserve these consequences, yeah, pretty much. Exactly. I didn't kill anyone. Perhaps. We can reach a compromise. You still have something I want. Give it to me, and I will bring this world back. Well, since if you say no, I'll have to wait another ten minutes, then it is agreed. You will give me your soul. That's a pretty tall order. But once again, I don't want to have to wait another 10 minutes, so that Then, it is done. And now the game has crashed again, only this time. It's back! The world has returned! So yeah, everything's fine and dandy, right? Also, the game has triggered a true reset as to- triggered a true reset by deleting my save files the moment that car struck the screen. But there this comes at one hefty cost. So here I am at the end of the pacifist run again. This time I chose uh this time I chose not to stay with Coil, just like so often that it is supposed to be like. The reason I am here will be obvious once we uh, see the once we actually get to the ending. In the meantime, I'm gonna try to do better at this. Yeah, the hitbox is on these names. Ah, uh, okay, I'm doing more horribly than usual. That 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 name is unfair. It just appears out of nowhere. Zero Dragon Lord. <laughs> Jenica, Spindrift, Release. Some of names can be pretty funny. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> it went off the page. Ah. Oh well. So, normally this version of the passive ending is supposed to show Frisk in a picture with all of his friends. 
However, after a genocide run... That's dark. Yes, the game will not let you forget that you've done a genocide run. As if the guilt itself isn't enough, the game forces it into your face right after you work for the best ending. No mercy indeed. And so, we've reached the end of Undertale. I gotta admit, I'm pretty proud of myself for being able to keep up with a project of this length. There's a few places where I would've liked to re-record a part, like when I died to Asgore because I failed to manage my inventory properly, but I feel pretty satisfied with the LP as a whole. This may not be the longest game ever, but it's still a reasonable length that it took over 40 parts to complete. <laughs> This game is definitely a unique adventure, I'll say that. All the attention to detail in every little part of the game amazes me. But this game is still not without flaws. I'm not going to talk about graphics or sound, because I personally don't see any problem with them. While I understand the idea of the Soulless Pacifist ending, and I do admire the programming depth it adds, I can't say I really like the idea of permanently tainting the best ending just because you got the worst ending. I mean, sure, you can just remove the file in the save folder, but doesn't that ruin the point? Shouldn't the guilt be on the player themselves instead of the game forcing it in your face? My biggest problem with the game is that after you get the best ending, it asks you to stop playing. I really dislike that notion. A game designer's job, regardless of what kind of game they make, should be to bring the player back after the game is finished, to give replay value, whether it's secrets you may have missed, or if the game is just that fun to play. This is a game that, in my eyes, fits both of those criteria, and it just asks you to stop playing altogether. I can't say I like that. Moving on to the positive side of things, there are a lot of things I like about this game. Starting with the gameplay, I typically like RPGs where you're able to actively dodge attacks rather than have the RNG decide what happens, and this game definitely accomplishes that. I like the idea of battles using a bullet hell system for attacks. It makes the battles more hectic. Sure, many of the attacks don't seem very difficult to avoid if you're a veteran to bullet hell games, but that's good. This game is aimed toward the RPG audience. The game definitely succeeds in its gameplay. The story, ignoring all of the theoretical pieces, like Gaster, Papyrus and Sans' origin, why Frisk climbed the mountains, and all of that, is also very well done. The story in Undertale is definitely full of curveballs and irony, and lovable characters. I think it's safe to say that my love of puns has been rejuvenated by Sans. <laughs> The most relatable character, surprisingly, has got to be Kara. The reason I say this is because, with the exception of before the game's events and at the end of a genocide run, we, the players of the game, are Kara, the one controlling Frisk. Even though Asriel said Kara wasn't the greatest person, that was in the past. Ultimately, the way Kara ends up is based on your actions, as, for the duration of the game, you are Kara, whether you are killing everything in your path or sparing them. This idea is further helped by the fact that Toby Fox stated that the best name for Kara, the first fallen human, is the player's name. I think the best way I would describe Undertale is that whether you play the game or not, whether you like the game or not, it's a game that makes you think. Why do people like this game? Why would someone do the genocide run? Why wouldn't someone do the genocide run? What is Gaster? No matter what your opinion, I can guarantee that if you've heard of Undertale, it's made you think. I would like to thank my friend Gigglem for helping me come up with the subtitles for the videos of the series, and Pakoda for helping me gather some of the footage near the end. 
This has definitely been an adventure, and I'm glad I was able to do this. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series, and I shall see you all next time. Until then, bye -a. Determination.